In this video, we're going to finish the Using Trigonometry to Find Lengths free worksheet on CUDA software under the Infinite Algebra 1 tab. We're going to do numbers 10 through 18. If you're still getting familiar with when to use sine, cosine, and tangent, at the top of your page, feel free to write so ka toa This is a little acronym to help you remember when to use sine, cosine, and tangent. Sine is used when you're given the opposite and the hypotenuse. Cosine is used when you're given the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. And tangent is used when you're given the opposite side and the adjacent side. So we're solving for x, given this angle of 31 degrees. In this case, our x is going to be our opposite, and our 10 is our adjacent side. And since we have the opposite and adjacent, we're going to be using tangent. The tangent of the measure of the angle, which is 31 degrees, is equal to the opposite side, x, over the adjacent side, 10. We're isolating this x to figure out what it's equivalent to, so we're going to multiply by 10 over 1, which is the whole number 10. So we have that 10 times the tangent of 31 degrees equals x. Type that into your calculator, making sure your calculator is in degree mode. We're doing 10 times the tangent of 31, and that's equal to 6.00, but we're rounding to the nearest tenth, so that's going to be 6.0. So x is equal to 6.0 for number 10. And number 11, we're given this angle of 38 degrees. We have the opposite side of 20, and we have the adjacent side of x. Opposite and adjacent. Again, we're using tangent. The tangent of 38 degrees is equal to the opposite of 20 over the adjacent of x. We need to isolate this x, but we need to get this x out of the denominator in order to isolate it. So we're going to start by multiplying by x over 1, which is equivalent to x. So we have x times the tangent of 38 degrees equal to 20 over 1, which is 20. Now to get x by itself, in this case, we're going to just divide by the tangent of 38 degrees. When we divide by the tangent, we're doing 20 divided by the tangent of 38 degrees, and that's going to give us 25.59, which rounds to 25.6 for number 11. And number 12, our angle measure is 74 degrees, and we're using the adjacent of 19, and we're using the hypotenuse, since the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle, and that is our x. So having a and h, going back to where we wrote Sokotoa, a and h is going to be cosine. So we're doing the cosine of the angle measure, which is 74 degrees, and that's equal to adjacent 19 over hypotenuse x. Again, the x is in the denominator, so we need to get it out of there, and we're doing that by multiplying by x over 1, which is simply x. We'll have x times the cosine of 74 degrees on the left-hand side. The x's cancel out on the right to give us 19 over 1, which is 19. Then, to isolate the x, we divide by the cosine of 74. When we do that, we're left with x on the left, and then entering that into the calculator, 19 divided by the cosine of 74 degrees gives us 68.9 as our answer in number 12. For number 13, the angle we're using is this 16 degrees. X is opposite that angle, and we also have opposite the right angle, which is the 90 degree angle, and that's 18. So we're using opposite, and we're using hypotenuse. We know this to be sine. So, sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. 
So the sine of that 16 degrees equals the opposite x over the hypotenuse 18. Multiplying both sides by 18 over 1 will give us that 18 times the sine of 16 degrees equals x. And entering that into the calculator, 18 times the sine of 16 will give us 4.96, which rounds to 5.0. Number 14, we're going to use this angle of 40 degrees. X is opposite that angle, and 20 is the hypotenuse. So again, we're using sine. The sine of 40 degrees equals opposite x over the hypotenuse of 20. Multiply both sides by 20, and that will give us that 20 times the sine of 40 degrees equals x over 1, which is x. So 20 times the sine of 40 degrees, entering that in on the calculator, will give us 12.85, which rounds to 12.9. So 12.9 is equal to x. Number 15, x is opposite the angle, and we have the hypotenuse of 34. So again, we're using sine. Sine of 22 degrees equals the opposite side, x, over the hypotenuse of 34. Multiply both sides by 34 over 1 to get that 34 times the sine of 22 degrees equals x. Entering that into the calculator, 34 times the sine of 22 equals 12.73, which rounds to 12.7. In number 16, we have our hypotenuse of 22, and x is opposite, so opposite and hypotenuse, O and H, we're using sine again. So the sine of 43 degrees equals the opposite x, over the hypotenuse of 22. Multiply by 22 over 1 to get that 22 times the sine of 43 degrees equals x over 1, which is x. 22 times the sine of 43 degrees gives us 15.00, which is 15.00 for number 19. Number 17, we're using this angle of 63 degrees. X is our hypotenuse, and 23 is the adjacent side. So katoa, C-A-H, has adjacent and hypotenuse, so we're using cosine. The cosine of 63 degrees equals adjacent of 23 all over the hypotenuse of x. This x is in the denominator and we need to get it out of the denominator. We're doing that by multiplying by x over 1. So we'll have x times the cosine of 63 degrees equal to 23. Then all we have to do is divide by the cosine of 63 degrees. Since the cosine of 63 divided by the cosine of 63 is 1, so we'll have x left on the left side. Whatever we do to the left, we do to the right. So again, we have to divide by the cosine of 63 degrees. 23 divided by the cosine of 63 will give us 50.66, which rounds to 50.7. So 50 and 7 tenths is our answer for number 17. And on to our last problem, number 18. But before I work through this problem, please give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. In this case, x is our hypotenuse and 37 is opposite the 37 degrees. So opposite and hypotenuse, we know we're using sine. The sine of 37 degrees is equal to opposite of 37 
over the hypotenuse of x. We need to get the x out of the denominator, so multiply both sides by x over 1. So we have x times the sine of 37 degrees equals 37 over 1, which is 37. Divide both sides by the sine of 37 degrees to get that x is equal to 37 divided by the sine of 37 degrees, 61.48, which rounds to 61.5. So 61 and 5 tenths is the answer to number 18. And that wraps up the video on using trigonometry to find lengths.